go. Now, there's some hope that maybe the offense will be better this week on Monday night against Detroit because Odell Beckham Jr., well, he actually practiced today. You see the numbers. They were dismal in that 19-3 loss. So it's the first time he's practiced since his ankle injury. That was back on the 21st of August. Now, if, if he plays, we'll find out if he does. But here's what Odell had to say about possibly playing on Monday night. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I want to play that bad. So you got to, it's going to be again, you know, you, what are you going to do? I, I, I really couldn't tell you at this moment, but, you know, I'm working my best to get to 100. So once I do get there, there won't be any more problems. But at the moment, we don't know. We're, we're just kind of, day by day, it's getting better. So we're going in the right direction. It gets that extra day, that could be huge. But BMAC, if he does, in fact, play on Monday, yeah. you saw how dismal those numbers Big were. Yeah. How much of a difference does he really make for the rest of the guys on offense? A big time difference. Because he's that type of player. I think he's the most valuable player on that offense. Wow. And more many, than Eli. More than Eli. Because we saw without Odell, Eli, he was a non-factor last week. Yeah. Against a team that has struggled to put pressure on the quarterback or harass quarterbacks, Eli, Super Bowl MVP, looked to be like a first-year starter. Brandon Marshall was not existent. Sharp, or Shepard rather was not existent. Evan Ingram. But Odell makes everybody relevant when he's in uniform because you have to account for number 13. Mm. When 13 is not on the football field, it's like, hey, we don't worry about someone taking a five-yard slant and turning it into 50 yards. So he is the most valuable player on that offense. And if he is healthy, if he is in uniform, I expect to see a better Eli. I expect to see a better Brandon Marshall. Mm. Evan Ingram, Sterling Shepard, everybody will improve, even the offensive line. Because guess what? When you have a guy like Odell on the perimeter, yeah. you cannot leave corners one-on-one -on -one with this guy. So that means you will not see as many blitzes as you saw week one. If you practice on Thursday for a game on Monday. Not just yet, because also, let me emphasize you. Okay. Let, me, let me educate you to say Bring the least. It. He practiced, but he did not practice. Boom. All he did Boom. was individual drills. And individual oh. drills is basically when the wide receivers run a few routes, he catch a few passes, but when they went into the team part of the practices, guess what? Odell was on the sideline learning, getting mental reps. So until I can see Odell have a full practice, that's when I, I'll say, you know what? There's a good chance that he will play. So Dr. Dave's got him in, but Dr. Bmax is not so fast. Not just yet. I need to see a full practice. So Saturday is the deadline. I would have been a terrible doctor, by the way. I agree.